Right, so today we are converting improper fractions into mixed fractions. You can pause here and read the success criteria. Um, we are going to discuss that vocabulary on the next slide. So what is a mixed number? Okay, well, let's have a look. So there are two essential sort of ways you can write fractions. Um, one is a mixed number like one and two thirds. Okay, the mixed number refers to a whole number here and a fraction here. That's a mixed number. If we're talking about an improper fraction, that means that instead of having a whole number and then the fraction, you have a numerator that's larger than the denominator. So one and two thirds would be the same as five thirds. And I'm going to show you what that's like on this bar model here. So if I've got bars divided into three equal parts or so, and I want to color in one and two thirds, that would mean one whole bar, that's one whole bar, and then two out of three pieces, so five thirds. So that's one bar and two thirds here, okay? Or I have one, two, three, four, five pieces of three, because they're all in thirds essentially. So five thirds, it's the same thing, okay? And we can have a look here at another example. So seven fifths is the same as one and two fifths, okay? That's essentially the main difference between a mixed number and an improper fraction. Improper, the numerator is larger than the denominator, and a mixed number has got a whole number and then the fraction next to it. So how many ways can you show five over two? You can pause here and give that a try, or five halves, you could say. So can you use a picture to convert that to a mixed number? Have a look at the image below. We've got, we've got some squares that are split into two equal pieces. We have five pieces of two. Okay, so that's piece one, piece two, piece three, piece four, piece five. Okay, and again, it's not one large bar in terms of divided into sort of six pieces. Because the thing is, that would be out of six. You have to make sure that each one is out of a possible two pieces. So that's why they're all separated. That's how it's supposed to be. And if we think about how much there is in total, you have one whole bar, two whole bars, and then one out of two halves colored in, hence the two and a half over here. Okay, could we use a bar model to show these improper fractions? Of course we can. So the numerator, or sorry, the denominator always determines how you split your bar. So for the first one on the left, 8 thirds, you're going to want to split the bars evenly into thirds. Obviously, I'm just drawing this out, but just so you get the idea. And so we've got 8 thirds, we want to color 8 pieces in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8 thirds. And if you think about how to write that as a mixed number, how many whole bars are there and what's the fraction left over? We have one whole bar here, one here, and then 2 thirds here. So that is the same as 2 and 2 thirds, okay? If we're looking at 7 fifths, again, we divide into 5 equal pieces or so. And we want to color 7 in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 fifths. How many full bars have we got colored in? 1. And then we have 2 fifths for the next one. So that's the same as 1 and 2 fifths. So... If you want to think about how to work this up mathematically, you can use short division. But if you know how to do that, then you should be able to do it mentally and just write down your mixed number. Okay? So let's have a look at that. So with 5 over 2, 5 halves, which is what we've been looking at already, you can see that if we divide 5 by 2 here in the middle, we end up with 2 and with 1 left over. The remainder becomes your new numerator, and the excuse me, denominator is your divisor here. So if I wanted to try that with another example, we could say, let's say, oh, I don't know, 7 fourths or 7 quarters, okay? Think, right, 7 divided by 4. So if I write that out here, I can get 4 into 7 one time with a remainder of 3. So now this one becomes our mixed number whole. This one becomes our numerator. And then this one becomes our denominator. So that's the same as 1 and 3 quarters. Okay? And you could draw a bar model to prove that as well. Having a look here, we have 11 quarters. Okay, another way you can convert it. If the other method worked for you, then don't bother watching this one. If you'd like to have a look at a different, different one, though, that's fine too. So you can think 11 divided by 4 equals 2 with a remainder of 3. 
which is what we've been talking about. Write down the two, write down the remainder three above the denominator four, like that. Okay, there you go. Here, we've got an improper fraction that we'd like to convert into a mixed number. So if we think about, um, we've got five, okay, and we're stopping at five. Each section is worth five. So if we have this, in terms of this being a bar worth five, we have one full one here, we have another full one here, another one here, and then we have four left over, four out of a possible five. So if we wanted to convert that into that mixed number, um, there you go, one, two, three, and four fifths. You can pause here to give Fluency a try. And here you have your reasoning and problem solving. Good luck.